Remember to subscribe and leave a comment to be part of the conversation. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Good morning! How's it feel to be strapped inside a walking nuke reactor at 6 a.m.? <laughs> My name is Sergeant Unther, but you can call me Deadeye. I'll be your babysitter for this mission, so don't get killed. I hate it when my guys get killed. I'm in the big mech in front of you. Shoot me even once, and I'll tear that beer can you call a mech into scrap. So oh, the brass tells me you need a crash course in modern battle mech operations out in the gun range. We've got a dummy target set up for you, so even a rookie like you shouldn't have too much trouble hitting it. The first thing we need to locate before we get this party started is your battle mech record sheet. Not sure what mech you're piloting? Boy, you really are wet behind the ears, aren't you? They always send me the bathtub, babies. Flip on your external camera for a better look at things. External camera engaged. Good. You've demonstrated the ability to do what I tell you when I tell you to do it. Keep this up and I won't get upset. I do bad things when I'm upset. Now that you've got that part down, let's get out your record sheet. What you're gonna wanna pay attention to here is your gunnery skill. It's usually located in the upper middle section of the record sheet. Some older versions may have this info elsewhere, so take your time and locate it. Find it? Good. The gunnery skill determines how good of a shot you are when you're trying to blast your target. The lower the number, the better of a shot you are. Don't worry about being thoroughly average, kid. We can work on how good of a shot you are some other time. Right now, I just want to make sure you don't pull the trigger and accidentally end up shooting yourself in the foot. Your gunnery skill is always going to be the first number you add into the calculation for what we call your two-hit number. That's the number you'll have to make or beat in order to land a successful shot on 2d6. Now, let's get you out to the practice dummy so I can show you how it's done. External camera engaged. Next, the A is for attacker movement. Remember, kid, when you're trying to hit a target, the attacker is always you. If you're using movement dice, and you should be, don't pay any attention to the number facing up. We'll get to that later. Satellite link established. Just pay attention to the color of the die. White is for when you're using walk speed. Black is for when you're using run speed. And when you're jumping, use the red die. The modifiers to your two-hit number for each of these actions is shown on the bottom left portion of your HUD. Take a moment to review those now. Satellite link established. The black die behind you means you're currently using run speed, which adds plus two. So far, we are at six in the calculation. Next, the T is for target movement modifier. This is how fast your target is moving and how difficult it's going to be to hit him. For this part of the calculation, the color of the movement die isn't important. What's important is the number that's facing up. Satellite link established. This tells you what the number to add on to your calculation is to account for the target's movement. So we see the dummy target isn't moving. 
That's good for you. A non-moving target will add nothing onto your two-hit number calculation, so always keep this in mind. In combat, speed is life. You go slow, you die. Some of the more common target movement modifiers you'll encounter in your average engagement is shown on the bottom left portion of your HUD. Take a moment to review those now. Satellite link established. Next, we'll move on to O for other modifiers. This will usually include things like woodland cover, partial cover from terrain, or smoke. That's not all it's limited to, however. Sometimes, if your battle mech's heat level is spiking, this will really mess with your targeting system and make shooting a little more difficult exponentially the hotter you get. In this instance, you have no heat and there's nothing in your way. Nothing will be added onto your two-hit number for this reason. Satellite link established. Try to keep your speed up and your heat down in combat. Let your enemy do the turtle walk back to the base. Just make sure you're always doing your best to operate at nominal levels and only take the risk of heating up when you've got your enemy right where you want him. The last thing you need to worry about in this calculation is the R for range. It's much easier to hit targets that are within the peak effective ranges of your weapon systems, and the farther out the target is, the more difficult it's going to be to hit it. The range brackets and what they add on to your two-hit number calculation is shown on the bottom left portion of your HUD. Take a moment to review those now. To find out what range you're at, consult your record sheet for the weapon you want to fire. I recommend the Particle Cannon, which is a medium range. Satellite link established. So you're at medium range. Medium range adds plus two onto your two hit number. Congratulations, you figured it out. This time, you'll need to roll at least an eight on two six-sided dice in order to score a hit. Satellite link established. Go ahead, kid, light him up. Way to go. You managed to hit a target that wasn't moving. Anyone can do that, so let's activate the dummy's remote and see how you do against an actual moving target. Satellite link established. Now bring the satellite back up and see if you can guess the two hit number without my help. Satellite link established. Very good. You've managed to complete the most basic steps of gunnery out on the range. Now, take out any aggression you have left on the dummy and let's head back to the base. We got stakes to burn.
be sure to smash our like button and subscribe to our channel. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.